Alright, what I'm doing today is I'm changing the oil in the Jaguar XJ uh, 3 litre diesel 2016. Um, what we're going to need is obviously taking the cover off. Okay, um, to get to the filter. And you're going to need a 32 socket, 32 millimeter socket. And you're going to need something like that. Extender and the wrench. I'm going to use a pump, electric pump from Legos for 10 quid. Uh, to pump it out and pump it in because I bought a 20 liter oil I'm going to um, change the oil three times this year due to uh, DPF problems I'm doing an extremely short journey so changing oil more often will probably help a little bit it's not going to fix it but hey how um, I'm going to need a measuring jug or a watering can so my wife will not be happy I'm gonna clean it for her so she can flower, as she can um, water her flowers. I'm gonna use an external um, uh, battery. I don't want, I don't like using the gas battery for this. And this is for the oiled oil. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, we're gonna need to take that cap off. So, leave it somewhere. Okay, and then on the pump itself, we can see which way it's pumping. Again, I highly recommend that one. I paid 9.99 from Lidl's. I think they go for 20 quid, roughly, usually. I think it was the last one when I bought it, and it's uh, I've used it a few times now. Uh, so, uh, they don't give you this hose. A standard what they do give you is a hose to use with cars that don't have this okay so you um, you know I had to put something together like that and I think that is uh, 8 mil outer diameter and then inner diameter is about I don't know five six whatever it is to fit this pipe here okay but before you suck it out, do. make sure you go for a short drive, 5-10 minutes will do, to warm your engine up, oil up, so it's thinner. If it's cold, it's thick and you won't be able to suck it out. You probably will, but not as good, not as quick as, um, not as quickly as uh, if it's warmer. So, um, what I usually do first also is I undo the, co the filter cover first a little bit just to uh, allow some air to go in. That's what I'm going to do now. Like so. Although the oil change on the Jag is the cleanest job I ever uh, did on any car, although I'm not a mechanic, I'm always working on my own cars, uh, you could probably change oil here in wearing a suit, suit and then not, getting, not get dirty. When you do remove the oil uh, filter cover, always protect the surrounding areas with some paper because it will leak. You can be careful, but it will probably leak a little bit here and there. And you want to keep your car clean, what I do. So, uh, um, okay. Some 
paper here and there. So if it does drip, it will drip on the paper and not inside. Because it's really difficult to turn it inside. Something like that I should do. Obviously, why I forgot to mention is you do need a new filter. Every time you change oil, change the filter. And probably any filter will do, no matter what, how good they look like on pictures when you uh, when you order them online, they're all pretty much the same. As long as it's not the cheapest of some weird brand filters, it will it will do. Always have to replace uh, the seal. We'll get to that later. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna undo that a little bit more. Maybe I'll just remove it. Obviously, you don't need that long. You need you don't need this that long. Okay, you can probably undo it by hand now. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Um. Okay, so uh, I think you see, I'm, as, as you can see, I'm not wearing any glasses. I don't think there is any point. Because um, if uh, something does drip on my hands, my gloves will get dirty and everything else I touch will get dirty. So uh, the only time you're gonna get dirty, you might get, get dirty, is when you remove the filter. So I'm just gonna grab some old bag. And I did say I'm just gonna loosen it out, but uh, for you know, for the oil to extract. Uh, to be extracted, but uh, I don't know, while I'm here, I'm just gonna remove the whole thing. Okay. Right. Okay. So I think we got it all right. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's off. Just like that. Okay. Right. It's gone. So we're going to clean that a bit later. That's what it looks like. There's a little bit of oil. But there you see how nice and black it is. Okay. You could technically put a new filter back on now. This is what it looks like. We use this leftover. So, to work what we can. Again, this is where you can get dirty. So, all you do is uh, stick the filter back in. You see that hole is a little bit smaller than this. It's, it's only because just to make that filter sit in properly. But I'm gonna use both hands, I think. So, Put this on back on. Let's get some fresh oil and cover that with some oil, fresh oil. Well, you can use oil, though, but probably we've got so much fresh oil left here in the canister. I'm just gonna use fresh oil. Like so. Let's take it back. 
on. Again, this is another time you can get dirty. Make sure you put the seal back on into its place. Okay. Just going these wires away. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this now. Right, so we are ready now to extract the oil. So the pump is off. Again, this is just a cheap pump, but it does the job. Okay, and make sure you put the other end in to your other canister first before you switching before switching the pump on. Don't make that mistake. Okay, that's a ten liter canister, which. Uh, is more than enough because there's only 6.6 .6 liters of oil in the engine <clears throat> okay So I've been for a drive this morning and about an hour and a half ago. The oil is no longer as warm as I would like it to be. But it seems to be working. Uh, the last time I did this, the oil was quite hot mm, and thinner. I can't actually see how thin it is because it goes straight into the canister, but it seems to be okay. So this is five liters. I'm expecting this to be around here when it stops. Hopefully. On the pump itself it says that you can you should not run it for longer than ten minutes. But it won't take ten minutes. Oh no, it's just thirty minutes, not ten. Take anywhere near 30 minutes. Any moment now, and we should be done. I'm going to use the same pump to it takes the oil out from this big canister. This is 20 liters. There's no way I can pour it from from it directly. I'm going to pump it out from this canister into this uh, watering can, as I call it. Uh, it's my. That's it. That's it. That's done. Let's have a look. So the car has been sitting here for, um, like I say, about an hour and a half. So all the oil residues is probably done at the bottom now. 
I'm gonna leave it for a couple of minutes and I'll um, turn the pump on again. As you can see, uh, that's about right. Okay, we don't know um, exactly how much that is, but it's about right. Okay, so okay, so it's been it's been a few minutes, and let me try again. It's only pumping air now. It's nice, nice and boiling. Okay, so um, let's put this uh, oil filter back on. As you can see, you can see on the filter cover itself, it does tell you what torque you should use. And because I like to do everything properly. Uh, it does say 25 plus 5 newtonometers. Uh, so we're gonna need something like this. Okay. Mm, and set it to 25. So let's do that now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, an adapter. this okay let's do it Got it. It does say 25 plus 5, so the car is not new, and I think sometimes you need to give uh, give it a little bit more torque than I think that will do. That's probably too much now. Um, but I prefer it to be sealed than almost sealed. Um, yeah, as long as you do it gently and not too much, then you should be okay. I mean, next time you're going to try to remove this, uh, it might be difficult. You remember when I had to remove it uh, earlier today? Uh, it took some force, actually. Um, I like that Peugeot sign there, and Citroën. Amazing. So, yeah, normally, I, in the past, I haven't been using 20-liter canisters. I've been using 5-liter and 2 1-liter bottles and I didn't need measuring count for it but this time I'm planning to change the oil three times uh, in the next 12 months that's why I bought this it was actually cheaper than buying three lots of oil for the next three years which is amazing and again you don't need to buy really expensive fancy branded oil anything that matches specifications will do Okay, so actually what I did was I, uh, I poured some fresh oil in it before I drained the pipe yet and um, let the cap open because I think when I put the cover back on, even though I didn't tighten it, it was actually sealed. So it's always good to let some air in. Uh, I put about 100 milliliters of fresh oil in and uh, let's see what happens now. I'm going to turn the pump back on. That's it. That was about 100 mils of black oil, as you can see. 
I think I'm gonna put another 100 mils to see what happens. So I put another 100 mil of fresh oil in, left the cap open. Uh, it's been a few minutes. Let's have a look, see if there's any oil. It's gonna come out now. Okay, I'm gonna turn the pump on. As you can see, the oil that I put in, fresh oil, is already black. I just leave it for another few minutes, one more time, and then try again. Try to pump as much, pump out as much as I can. Okay, so that's now uh, been removed. Just gonna clean that a bit. Put the cup back on. Uh, can go in any direction. That's done. So I was going to use old hoses, but I actually had some spare ones, so I decided to... The old hose will like, eventually clean itself out if you hang it for long enough. Uh, but because, since this is a fresh oil, I'm going to fill it, fill this canister, uh, watering can, up to about here. It's all dry and clean, make sure it's all dry and clean. Uh, no dirt inside. I'm going to turn the pump on. Let's do it. It's 2.5 liters. That's about 3 liters now. Okay. So, let's see what we can do here. All right, let's do this. Remove the cap. And hopefully, you could probably put some paper here. Because knowing life, something will go wrong. Okay. See? Okay. <clears throat> what is that one? We need thick one. Stay in. So two of those, and that should be six liters. Okay, that should do it. And one more time, and then we're gonna check the level. See what the screen is showing. It's a shame there is no dipstick here. Uh, 
Right, it's always good to clean it straight away and don't let and not let the oil drip down below to the lower parts of the engine. Because what happens is the dirt sticks to it, dust, and it just looks it just looks horrible later on. Okay, so we can put the cap back on before some of these leaves will end up there inside. And then let's have a look in the car. See, leaves are everywhere. <clears throat> so the car needs cleaning, I admit. Yes, I know, bonnet is open. Okay, actually we need to press the ignition, uh, switch the ignition on. Go to service, that uh, option is not available. In. In, uh, when the engine is running. Add one liter. Well, I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add half a liter. And then see what happens. Sorry, my steering wheel is a bit. Okay. Oh. Add one liter. Let's see. All I need is half a, well, it says a liter, well, I'm just going to put half a liter. That should be it. It's about here. Just move it over half a liter. Hopefully, I won't spill any. Now, actually, the can is not full. Let's check the level there. Engine on level okay. No, oh, it's gone up a little bit. It's going up. And it's going oh see? And it told me to add one liter. So don't add any more. Don't believe the computers, don't believe what it says on the screen. Um you know to be more precise you could be adding uh, a couple of hundred milliliters each time and see what happens here. I think last time I well, I did <coughs> was I literally just added 6.6 .6 liters without checking and straight away it was showing max. It didn't say to um, it was too much or anything, it just said max. Even if you have, uh, well that doesn't mean one liter, actually no one probably knows how much that is. Um, but I always have a liter, I always have a uh, a bottle of a liter of oil in the boot. In case I need to go for longer trips, keep it in the boot. <coughs> like so, Shell Extra C1. And 
and some leaves. Okay, job done. Again, that was that would be the cleanest job I ever did on oil change in any car in the past. Should I not want to film it? Uh, you can see the oil cover is a bit greasy, so I'm going to clean that, <coughs> clean the mess up, go for drive, and that's it. So, guys, if you have any questions. I don't do many videos like this. Uh, next time I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, cam belt. I'm gonna be changing the t uh, timing belt on here. <clears throat> um, in the next 12 months, so I will be filming that too. Um, a lot of work, but I don't mind. I like fiddling. I like tinkering, so uh, it will save me a bit of money. I'm going to the garage, you see. Uh, I know what's involved is a lot of work under the, under the engine. You have to take the tray out, under trays, uh, remove uh, the starter motor, lock <coughs> the flywheel with pins and all sorts. You have to take all that out to get easy access to the camshaft pulleys and to the bottom. Uh, drain the coolant replace the water pump while you're there. Uh, I will consider changing the belt for the high pressure fuel pump at the back. That's uh, gonna be a little bit, little bit more tricky than cam belt. Uh, <clears throat> but it is doable without taking the, in without taking the engine out. Uh, so I will be filming that later. So any work I will be doing on this car, I will be filming. Hopefully you'll find it useful. So there's one more thing I need to do. Specifically, he said the service message, although the service message didn't actually come up. I've got like a couple of thousand miles to do. Normally, I have to plug in battery support. I've got a device like this uh, from Diagnostic Associates. Plug it in. Okay, we've got lights. We've got SSD. So let's see. Uh, normally, to do this, we need 12.5 volts, 12.5 volts of. Uh, battery uh, I'm gonna plug it in uh, I'm not gonna start a new session I don't care I just want to reset the service message so Here's what we're going to do. Uh, recommendations. Let's have a look. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that's not here. So service functions. Uh -huh. uh, that, that, where is it? Service message reset. Run. Agree. So again, we need 12 and a half um, volts for the battery to be charged. So the ignition's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if the battery is 12.49. It's not going to work. I'm going to need to power plug in. It's 11.92. So um, that's annoying. I'm going to have to plug in um, power supply. Uh, so there you go, as you can see. That's annoying, so with SSD you have to have, SDD, you have to have that, um, you have to have enough power, but I think you have to have that with all the diagnostic tools, with like auto and, and all those, so 
Uh, let's do that then. So I'm gonna cancel this. Uh, <clears throat> and then we're gonna come back when I have everything plugged in. See you soon. Uh, so here we are having a, my power supply. So this is a power uh, battery ma battery manager. Um, it does lots of different functions like uh, power supply so this is required for if you want to do programming when you do diagnostics um, and other features that I probably want well we'll see anyway uh, you can see that there's 10 amps at the moment I need uh, I don't although I'm using diagnostic software I'm the diagnostic option here doesn't actually work. It's supposed to provide 40 amps, but it doesn't... It's, something's not working properly anyway. So I'm using this supply option and then I'm gonna change... So Jaguar recommends at least 50 amps as far as I remember. Uh, so it's not connected yet, so I'm gonna connect this to the... Uh, This port and this port. So you can see the car is actually drawing almost everything, almost all 40 amps. Okay, that's it. That should now <coughs> work. I'll get annoyed if it doesn't. <clears throat> uh, so at the moment the battery is still yellow but let's see what happens so I'm gonna try that again it should turn green in a minute actually it usually does uh, where is it I've lost it now Service message reset. So I'm gonna run it. Turn the ignition to position two. Okay, fine. Whatever. Oh, the battery is now green. Uh, okay, so the voltage is now 1273. It needs to be 12.5. Um, so it's 1273. It's enough. Uh, switch the ignition to off. I'm not going to do that. I never do because I don't know what the point of that is. Okay. Complete. Executing diagnostic command. Right, so uh, what it, is it showing me? So I've got these options. The service message is not displayed. A reset is not required. Of course, it's not. I've got 500 miles to go. Uh, use this option for oil and filter replacement only. This would only reset the oil dilution value. Uh, use this option during a full service. This will reset the time and distance to the next service and the oil dilution value. I'm, I'm always using the full service reset because uh, I've literally just changed um, oil fil um, air filters as well. Um, anyway, so let's do that now. So at the moment it says oil dilution value is 5.3%. Why well, we know it's not true anymore because I changed oil earlier. Uh, time to next service 49 days or 11,000 kilometers. So I'm going to press, go ahead and press that button. Full, full service reset. Um, your selection does not match the recommendation. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Uh, 
Okay, I need to press the green tick. Yes, please. Press the green tick again. Resetting the service in Terrible. So something should come up on the screen. I think I see, I've seen something before. So, um, press the green tick. Service counter reset. And press the green tick. Turn off the ignition. Okay, let's do that now. Okay. That's it. So now we're gonna turn the cleaning mission back on. So the trick with the bonnet open, uh, the doors open, uh, turning the ignition on, it doesn't work. Some claim it works for them, uh, but then again, they um, someone said to me that it worked for them the other day without uh, the diagnostic tool. They did see the message, reset service tool, uh, re uh, the service counter reset message on the screen. And then the next day, uh, the service message reminder came up again. So those that claim it works, apparently it works for the US models, but it doesn't work for the EU models. It's something to do with the legislation uh, um, in America allowing customers to do it themselves without going to the garage. I don't, I don't know, no idea. So anyway, let's have a look. Uh, next service, 16,000 miles. Okay. So there we go, job done. The only issue is I have to run this piece of equipment like this and the power supply, which is a pain in the ass. So someone who lives in block of floods or, or too far from um, power source, they're in trouble. Why oh, the lights on? Anyway, you can see that it's drawing 40 amps. I haven't seen that before. Usually it's around 30. So let's turn off ignition. Let's unplug that and that. Let's see if the amperage changed. Well, not much, but anyway, I don't need this connected anymore. Whoa. This cable is really warm, really warm. Like what the fuck? Hmm. Okay, never mind. So that's it, folks. Uh, I'm gonna put it back on. Cleaning the engine bay is not for today. Can't be bothered. All done.